Seriously though, you're you're just everywhere at this point, right? Like it's starting to get holy crap. <laughs> now even the trunk version of him is everywhere. I mean, sooner or later the whole thing's maxed out, and then I don't have to worry about it anymore, I guess. <laughs> and according to my well, I can't I can't judge it that way. If I go purely by the Dragon of Dojima skill tree, it looks like I'm behind on Majima encounters compared to my progression down the other trees, which seems unlikely because I've been do I've been doing so many of them that it'd be weird to find to be like behind the curve. But we just recently encountered the martial artist dude who also unlocks stuff for that tree, which means that it might not all be Majima. And if it's not all Majima, that opens the door a little bit when it comes to like actually. Well, it makes it ambiguous about how pr how far I progressed down the Majima tree, specifically, if, if not the entire dragon tree is based around doing Majima encounters. But goddamn, I swear I do like two of these per episode at this point, and I'm still- it still looks like I'm behind the curve. I'm slowly turning beating this one dude up over and over again into a science, apparently. <laughs> He's not good- he's not good at fighting back against that particular combo. The really long rush combo. Let's go for the leg grab. Kick! Oh, he beat me. Not very nice. No! No heats. Ow! Actually toppled me. That's a bad time to go for the taunt. Well, the one thing that's definitely not helping is that, uh... If I talk about trying to get my Majima tree past my other, my other trees, the fact that every time I fight Majima, he gives me 50 experience levels, it definitely, uh... makes it hard for the red to keep up with the other ones. Boost your defense when performing resist guard. So now when I block in my block stance, in my, in my beast stance, I will, uh, block even more better -er and whatnot. Filled up the heat meter for like no reason because I was like, I need to heal. It didn't even didn't even heal it that much. Still, I need to start investigating in better stuff. Is that like the only good drugstore? It's like in the middle of nowhere. I feel like there used to be more. But all the other ones are convenience chains. The convenience chains don't have the good drugs. Damn it! I'll have to make a trip down there sooner or later. But something is going on, like right over here. Someone's chasing me. Oh, right. This is where we met... Uh, Bubble Lady. Oh, this will give us some insight into this area up here. Because, like, there is clearly an area up here, and... Game design usually has really efficient level layouts. So it was weird when I came up here and it was a dead end and I couldn't go anywhere. I'm like, huh, I guess I'll go back down. It gave me the impression of like almost like an unfinished area, but it's because it's for this later mission. Hmm? <laughs> たかしはどうする気お嬢を
ずいぶんにぎやかだな外野の出る幕じゃねえ引こでろそうはいかねえあんたらそのガキ殺しかねんからないやかましいこの人数相手に話は指名だやれ、えー、How strange would this mission feel if I was doing it in parallel with the bubble quest? <laughs> like we're in the same building? Spin! So nice of you guys to bunch up like that. You would think that at some point, like the population of this area would be like dis like all of the you think you think that all the shops in the area and stuff like that would have like disproportionately female uh, disproportionately female uh, employees just because like all the male people in this entire goddamn city appear to be yakuza. Like at some point, you run out of people to work jobs because everyone's a yakuza member. <laughs> Hello. Take a seat. Nope. Owie. Pain. There we go. He's down. I'm gonna go get this table real quick, if you don't mind. Howdy. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. There you go. You're out of friends. Ow. Uh, Kiryu, could you disarm him, please? Not just throw him? Or did he drop it? He didn't drop it at all. Dang it. Man, that's effective for heat. <laughs> So that didn't work. Oh, that's not what I was going for either. Uh, already? Jesus. Yowie. Get out, get out. Oh, none of my evasion moves are really working. God damn. God damn. Enjoy this corner. You're gonna die in it. There we go. Just needed him to stop moving. And the corner does that. Tagashi. Huh? Totta kane wa oitege. Zuzu is sugiru. Wakatta yo. お金もなくてこれからどうするのでもよクソガキてめえそんな半端でお嬢と逃げる気かチームじゃパシリで挙句にはメールで組抜けるってか黙りなさいいいよタカシもう行こうお嬢親父は何よりお嬢の幸せをならなんでお父さんは来ないのえ、それは、その…ふざけないでよ私はね、お父さんがヤクザなばっかりに…今まで散々だった…分かってやす…お友達もできず…お嬢はずっとお一人きりだった…親父もそれが不憫でならねえと…たかし俺…ああ俺…確かに今は半端ですでも目いっぱい働きます頑張って頑張って絶対に京花さんを幸せにしますから口先だけか証明します高志よっしゃお前は極道じゃねえんださっき口にしたことをやりゃそれでいいあんたもそれでいいな親父からの伝言ですえ
京か私は生まれついての極道だ京か私は生まれついての極道だ何十人の部下を連れながらだがたった一人の娘を幸せにしてやれない極道者だ汚れついた私の手にお前を抱きしめてやる資格はもうないだから行け強化をよろしくお願いしますあなっから組長の描いた絵図通りってことかもういいんですかいまあそのモニターにじんじまって見れたもんじゃねえ<笑>こいつはあんたヤクザ嫌いなんだってなええいいのかあんたはせがれの選んだ女の親父俺にはそれだけです立派な息子さんだ俺が育てたんじゃないですからうちもさはあ、<laughs> it's like, it's a touching little diversion, but I'm like, ah, this is, is it, is it related to anything? I'm wondering if this is going to come up in any other context, or if that character is going to come up somewhere else, like the, the Mafia, the lot, I keep saying Mafia now for some reason, the Yakuza leader, like, is he going to come up at some point, or is this... Does this amount to just being a favor for the florist, and that's it? And that's the that's where the entire plotline ends. I wonder, because we need a favor, because we need a lead, and so the florist is obviously where you would go to get a lead. But uh, it just seems bizarre. I get, that seems like characters that we would have spent more time with, given other the way that other parts of the of the story is is handled. It's weird that they just come in, and then it seems like their story is resolved almost immediately. Holy crap, there is another group of attacking people, like, every half-street. And just a little bit of clever line-of-sight breaking avoids me getting in a fight with them every few minutes. Cool. Huh? What was that noise? Seems to be coming from over there. Holy crap, you heard the kid from there? Man, I'm so hungry. That sound must have been his stomach. He seems pretty hungry. Wonder if he's alright. I can't help thinking about this kid. I'd feel pretty guilty if he went hungry. Might as well say hello. Hey, kid. Huh? W what? Are you hungry? Oh, you could see, you could hear my stomach rumbling. Uh, embarrassing. But yeah, I'm a little hungry. I see. I can give you some food. Do I have any food? I should probably give him something to eat. Thought I'd give something to eat, but I uh, don't have anything on me. Sorry, I don't have anything to give you. That's okay, mister. Thanks for trying anyway, you fucking loser. <laughs> Doesn't know whether or not food is on your body at the moment or not. I could try the barbecue. Casual bar. I don't know. I could try the local place, but I don't, I don't think it'll work. But I know if I go to the food... I, I can go to a convenience store for food. And I can go to the burger place. Because the sticking point here is it has to be food you can get to go. And I think a lot of the restaurants, if you order food, you don't get it to go. I believe that's not the default option. Yep, I'll show you to your table. Well, I can always use experience. I had that one before. Let's do the sirloin. Poor Kiryu's health bar. Whoa, that's a full heal. You know what? Let's do our... let's do busy work. This is my chance to go to the, uh, drugstore I keep needing to visit. So I can actually have a stock of heals that's not about to expire. And then after I do that, I can loop back around to, uh, a burger place or something. So that's the drugstore. I can try this alley, but... There's actually a decent chance I'll get interrupted by something else on my way there? Instead of how crowded the local area is with exclamation points. 
They're they're almost hard to avoid. Here's the drugstore. Big fan of Staminon Royales, but they are expensive. I don't know if that's entirely necessary yet, so let's go with the lower ones for now, because they cost four times as much. Damn. Uh, let's go with eight. There we go. I need space for some food. I bet you this is going to be a rule of threes mission. It's going to be one of those, those convenience chain right there. It's going to be one of those missions probably where he's like, Oh, mister, I need even more food now. But now I need mega food. Oh no, I'm being attacked by the hunger monster. It can only defeat, be defeated by a mountain of food. And it just keeps escalating like they usually do. I need seven butt tissues now because I have indigestion, but I'm a sufficient... Uh, I'm an important businessman and blah blah blah. Here. An entire lunch set. That should be enough, right? <laughs> Hunger monster. <laughs> Not completely outside of the weirdness it's gotten into in the previous games, but it's a little, it's a little outside of it. Oh no, I see you there. <laughs> no second guessing, just, just charging straight forward into his face. I'm just committed now. It's just such an effective way to start every fight. Just grabbing him and getting a free heat action. Be weird if I didn't do it at some point. Take a seat. There we go. Ow. Dang it, I was trying to grab him by the legs. No. God, it's a long combo. Get out. Get out. Nope. I'm gonna grab this. Nope. Well, I thought that sign was an item I could use. Whoops. Well, that's convenient timing for me. I was already set up. What percentage of this playthrough is me fighting Majima now? It's starting to get weird. <laughs> oh, damn it. You little resourceful bastard. Let's try this moat that never really works out for me. There we go, that looks like it hurts. It is like a weird, like, heavy version of Brawler. Every single hit looks like it has a lot of impact to it, but you're like really awkward and slow and weird. But not with any of the weird, not, not with any of the cool sweeping stuff that happens. In a... Ow. There we go. It does look like every hit really hits. I'm over a hundred. Oh, right, I don't think I sp I didn't spend it last time, did I? I don't think I spent my experience last time, actually. Oh, I can't go to that menu yet. Boss is resting right now. The boss is a little tired from playing with you, sir. He said to be back in a, after a little break. He'll likely- he's likely relaxing outside Kamurocho somewhere. I'm sure he'll come back when you least expect it. That is the boss, after all. You can no longer sense a connection with Majima. You must continue onwards in the main story or complete certain sub-stories to draw him out. Oh. I'm not behind on fighting Majima then. Because I literally can't do it anymore. I have to... okay. Huh. 
that makes them feel that that makes those little missions feel like they're less in the way all of a sudden when I realize that there's like an end point that I can reach, and then they'll like go away for a while. So now I got the attack the attack bonus boost. That's a big one. I want the other one too. I might just stick with this tree until I finish it, and then switch to another tree after that. Because double attack boost sounds like a good time, and this is where I get my health boost too. A lot of them in a row. After that, though, we go to the 85, and that's going to be a lot more per boost. Health recovers when you drink alcohol. I never do that. My only reason to buy that skill would really just be to get a skill for completionist's sake. Okay, so there is a, there is a cap on how much you can get through the Majima system. I, I was curious about that, because there's like a... There's kind of like specific limitations on how much you can do side quests, and the fact that certain side quests only show up once you progress past certain chapters. That's something that's come up in my research when I'm just trying to figure out how side quests work sometimes between Yakuza Zero and Yakuza Kiwami is that I realized that certain side quests literally spawn after you complete certain story chapters. And there's actually hard gates in Majima system too. So hungry. I can give you some food. I should probably give him something to eat. What should I hand over? The one item? Yes. If you're hungry, you can have this. Wow, really? Thanks, mister. I was super hungry. Thank you so much, mister. It's nothing. Make sure you chew before you swallow, though. Huh? Okay. Mmm, tastes good. That did not complete the quest. I bet you he shows up somewhere else. Or right now. Nope, not right now. That's a curiosity. Huh. Well, I'm already kind of diverged, diverted anyway. We're in a weird pause in the story where Kiryu is just waiting for a lead. So I can kind of reasonably pick up the story whenever I want to after that favor. So let's do some cleanup on the map because there's a lot of new points to check out. Excuse me. Oop. Which one of you over here is it? Oh, they look colorful. Hey, get out of my way. Don't be an icy bitch, woman. I lost everything I had on that pachinko. I know you've got some cash on you, right? Not any that I'm gonna give to you. Fine. And how about you and me head to a hotel? You can help me forget all my woes. Uh, excuse me? Better step in before this gets worse. Stop it. She's not interested. Huh? Huh? The hell's your problem? Wow, this is straight to a fight. <laughs> Oof. I'm never ready for that one. It's so specific to like, you're, be you're near a trunk of a car. Here's a specific heat action that is like a series of quicktime events that never shows up in any, any other context.俺が知らないうちに男を作り上がったな。違うんだって、純ちゃん。あ、すまん。余計なことしちまったか。俺はてっきり。この情勢と俺は何も。ちょっと、純ちゃん。やめて。やめてよ。よせ、落ち着け。やめてー。おい、そんなもん出せ。どないするじゃ。うわ。せい。とや。どうだ。うん。せい。参ったか。おい、ちょっとお前。さあ、今のうちに逃げて。そうじゃねえ。っていうか、やめろ。いって。いでよ。そちらの女性も怖がっている。女性を連れて逃げなさい。私なら大丈夫。<笑><笑><笑> 
こういう輩はきっちり同情儀しないと違うんだ人の話を聞け<笑>ほら何やってるんだあお前さんご苦労様です実はチンピラがカップルを脅しておりましてうう大丈夫ね大丈夫なのどどういうことまあカップルのチワゲンカってやつだなあああの二人がカップルってことは脅してたチンピラってのはお前かはあいや勘違いだ俺もしょっぱなに勘違いしたが署まで同行してもらうぞ違うんだ一緒に警察に行きましょうはあ私も勘違いをしたそしてあなたも勘違いをしたここは男らしく言い訳せずお縄につくということで何言ってんだお互い正当防衛ださっさと逃げねえと面倒になるぞ逃げるスポーツマンは決して逃げたりしない何つまりどういうことなんだあの男が女性から金をせびろうとして女性は嫌がっていた血は原価とは知らなかった止めに入ったら男が俺に喧嘩を吹っかけてきたんだそうなのかはいすみませんお騒がせしてそして途中この顔のでかい男が急に入ってきてチンピラをやっつけちまったそうですなるほどもういいかすみませんでしたいやもういいですいやそれでは許されないそうだ私に同じ技をかけてくださいいや好きな技を好きなだけかけてもらってさあ遠慮なくさあ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あ,あすまなかったなあんたには迷惑かかっちまったいえそれにしてもすごい技だったな柔道をやってたのかでは篠原さん最近は物騒ですからお気をつけて篠原なんで名前をあんた有名なのか現役はもう引退してましてそれでまあちょっとした観光にでもこういう場所を歩くのは慣れていないんで迷ってるうちにさっきの現場に出くわしまして本当にご迷惑をおかけしまして申し訳ありませんそうだったのか迷惑かけたついてだ俺でよければ案内するぜ本当ですかよろしくお願いしますあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっ The sudden appearance of voice acting completely caught me off guard. I was like, wait, wait, oh, this is happening. Oh, in a side quest? Let's see. You have anywhere specific you want to go? I、uh, kind of came back to town recently, so I'm probably not the perfect tour guide, but I volunteered anyway. I guess all that exercise worked up an appetite. Why don't we grab something to eat? If you're looking for, for good food here, barbecue is the way to go. I know a place. Okay. Where? He has vanished. Well, there's the barbecue place I just went to.、Oh, that's exactly where that exclamation point moved to. Huh. Well, this has been a thing.